Without a doubt, electronics can be a blessing in our lives, but they can also be a curse. And I don't mean a curse by the devil or a, or a divine curse by our divine God. I mean they can be a curse because they, they can actually replace our traditional paperback Bibles. So many pastors today, unknowingly and, and innocently, are, are encouraging their congregations to no longer use their Bibles. Uh, and, and you say, well, how is that done? Well, that's pretty simple. The pastors does all the work for you. They, they put the main text and, and the cross-reference verses up on the big screen for you. And consequently, the church doesn't even turn their pages in their Bibles. Oftentimes, the congregation, they won't even open their Bibles. And more and more Christians today aren't even bringing their Bibles to, to church because it's all done for them. It's all on the screen. You know, when we use our smartphones, our iPods and iPads as the primary uh, source of reading of the Word of God, then there's no longer a need to actually search through the Scriptures because the computer has done it for us instead of our brains. You know, when, when we're in church, we ought to be considerate of others because to see congregates on their cell phones or other electronic devices in church, frankly, is distracting to others. It's very distracting to me. We don't know if they're using a Bible application and actually reading God's Word along with the pastor or the Bible teacher or if they're texting their friends. And consequently, we're going to end up with an entire generation that does not know how nor where to find verses in the Bible. Henceforth, they will not know the Word of God. I would encourage you to resist the temptation of allowing technology to replace your Bibles, which takes away our familiarization of God's Word. Don't fondle your gadgets. Fondle your Bibles. As the commercial once said, let your fingers do the walking through the yellow pages, God's pages. Or as I've said before, take a trip through Route 66, all 66 books within your Bible. God said in Deuteronomy 11:18, Therefore you shall lay up these words of mine in your heart and in your soul, and bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. It says in Jeremiah 15, 16, Your words were found, and I ate them. Your, God's words, were found, and I ate them. And your words became to me a joy and the delight of my heart, for I am called by your name, O Lord God of hosts.